under direct orders of the founder, access is limited to those with overseer clearance. Overseer clearance granted. Reading of item number, SCP-006 The Fountain of Youth, Don't Tell Juan Ponce de Leon. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, Whereas the nature of SCP-006 does not warrant any extensive containment, a certain level of secrecy is necessary regarding the object's existence and properties, for obvious reasons. The following procedures are required not for personnel safety, but to deny or hide knowledge of SCP-006 effects from the personnel who interact with it. 1. All personnel interacting with SCP-006 in any physical way are required to wear modified Class 6 B and C suits. Before personnel are allowed to perform procedures, they must be briefed with material SCP-006-B or SCP-006-C. SCP-006-A briefing is the correct one and is restricted to only those with O5 clearance. To ensure personnel are wearing suits properly, they are to be submerged into a pool of water. Any air bubbles spotted signify a leak in the suit. 2. Procedures with SCP-006 are to be carried out under extreme surveillance. In case of contact with SCP-006, the commander in charge will announce Procedure 006-XI-12, which the personnel have been briefed to believe to mean high toxicity is present and they must evacuate. 3. Any procedure in which liquid is acquired from SCP-006 must be approved by 305 level personnel. The liquid is to be transferred in a quad sealant container and under armed guard. 4. If at any time personnel come into contact with SCP-006 or liquid from SCP-006, they are to be confined and terminated after sufficient studies are done. Due to the nature of SCP-006, the most effective termination method is incineration. For full report, see file SCP-006-05. Description, SCP-006 is a very small spring located 60 kilometers west of Astrakhan. Foundation Command was aware of its existence since the 19th century, but were unable to secure it until 1991 due to political reasons. On the spot of the spring, a chemical factory has been constructed as a disguise, with the majority of laborers under Foundation and or Russian control. The liquid emitted from the spring has been chemically identified as simple mineral water in 1902, but has the unusual property of health. Ingesting the liquid produces the following properties in human beings, the ability to regenerate DNA damaged by sufficient duplication, heightened excitement of cellular duplication, vastly improved abilities in the repair of damaged tissue, and a frightening increase in the effectiveness of the human immune system. Upon testing the liquid on animal subjects, hostile bacteria and viral agents were destroyed immediately. Many reptiles and birds were unaffected, while higher primates experienced the same benefits as humans. Breakdown, as legend has it, and as scholars have maintained for centuries, Ponce was in search of the fountain of youth, a fabled wellspring thought to give everlasting life to whoever bathed in or drank from it. But for this fountain it's been found and now is the 05 Council's personal water fountain, who knows how long the 05s have been in their spots due to the succulent powers of the fountain. A story of the water of life appears in the eastern versions of the Alexander Romance, which describes Alexander the Great and his servant crossing the land of darkness to find the restorative spring. I think by following this tale and rumors the SCP Foundation found out about the location and started the process with the Russian government to get their hands in the honeypot so to speak. If you like this type of content let me know down in the comments, I will be doing them in order and adding more of my personal flair to each of the readings. Let me know which is your favorite and I will be sure to add more to that specific one just for you if it's further down the road.